we're back with part two. Hi guys, welcome back to the book haul. So now this one is going to be part two of my January and February book haul. If you haven't watched it yet, definitely go check it out. But we're going to continue with all the other books that I received. So the first book that I want to talk about is actually a full love story by Lone Lee. This one is a Vietnamese American novel that I really want to read. It's a young adult novel and it's kind of like a Romeo Juliet situation where our main two characters like each other but their families hate each other because their families both own pho restaurants and they are competitors of each other so I'm excited to read it. Jessica from Peace Love Books actually read it already and she absolutely adored it so I know I'm going to like it too. So the next book that I picked up is actually a romance I already read before but I wanted to own a physical copy copy of it when I was reading it. This one's called A Duke, The Lady and a Baby by Vanessa Riley and now this one follows a main heroine who is actually a person of color and then afterwards she married someone who's white and then afterwards she gave birth to a child but then her husband mysteriously dies so now she has to go back to like I think like England and then she meets her husband's brother and then afterwards because she doesn't want him to think ill of her or something like that she pretends that she is just like the nurse and then afterwards she watches the duke take care of her own baby in that sense and this is kind of their romance so the next book that I have to show you is actually much ado about you by samantha young and i've read one samantha young novel like a very long time ago it was okay like i didn't really like it and i didn't really hate it but this one is she's also the author of fight or flight and uh that one was okay too that one had a lot of enemies to lovers romance but basically what you want to know about this book is that this book is kind of based on the movie the holiday with jack black you know uh kate winslet and then uh, cameron diaz and jude law that one so this one is about our character who is really sick of her life so she decides to plan a haul Holiday to go to the small village and then that holiday actually also includes a position at this like bookstore and then that's where she falls in love with the local farmer and there's like a lot of like fun little things that are happening around so I'm excited to get to this romance very soon. So the next novel that I have to show you is actually a novel that was sent to me from the author. This one is by Kelly Siskan by and it's called The Knockout Rule. This one's a romance between a physiotherapist and also a boxer. Um, our main heroine has nothing to do like she does not want to do anything with these boxers but she ends up helping her father and um, becoming the physiotherapist for these boxers and she ends up falling in love with one of them and I'm really excited to read this romantic comedy very soon written by a Canadian author. So the next book that I want to show you is actually an office like enemies to lovers romance but you wouldn't even know that it's an office romance because they're actually traveled to like this beach paradise um, island location together. This one's called Shipped by Angie Hawkman and this is about like two characters who are all up for promotion and they are going head to head. They're enemies to lovers and the one stipulation that they have is that the boss forces them to go on vacation together and whoever has like the best like pitch ever will get the promotion. So the next book that I have right here is this unfinished copy this advanced copy that was sold to me from thrift books which I'm kind of really disappointed about because like what the freak like I don't want this like I want the one with the cover I want a finished one I don't know why you're selling me an arc and this was like kind of expensive this one's like eight dollars so like why but this one's called Spirited Away by Cindy Miles and if you guys watched my last book haul you would have seen that I hauled a couple of those books this one's a kind of like a paranormal time travel romance between um a character who was killed year 1292 and basically he he is being disturbed at rest because our main heroine, who is a scientist in present time, is digging up his castle. So I'm excited to read this book, even though it's a freaking advanced reader's copy. So the next book that I have to show you is actually 10 Rules for Faking It by Sophie Sullivan. And this book was sent to me from St. Martin's Press. So thank you so much for sending me this book. This one is between a employee and boss romance. And this book is about a girl who really wants to steer her own ship and steer her own career. She pitches like ideas to her boss and then she decides to start her own podcast podcast after her boss gives her the green light and then what happens is that the podcast is live people hear her ranting about her dating issues and then suddenly all these guys show up at her door wanting to get to know her more and this is kind of the story of her dating these guys but also realizing that she has a severe crush on her boss and that her boss might actually like her back the next book that i have to show you is the x talk by rachel lynn solomon this book is about two characters who are enemies to lovers their radio hosts and their boss decides that they would be perfect for their this uh, radio show where two exes give um, dating advice and this is basically about them 
falling in love and I'm excited to read it. My friend Shelly really likes this book so I know it's going to be a good one. So the next book that I have to show you is actually this book from Entangled Romance. This one's called The Fix Up by Tanya Fenske and the reason why I picked up this book was because A it was on sale on Amazon too. It was also because it's about a CEO who's actually a dork and he's dressed up really nerdy all the time so he needs all the help that he gets and then afterwards what happens is that he falls for a public relations manager who is hired to actually help him look more attractive in real life so that his company would be more successful and get more investors. So I'm excited to read this one. So the next book that I picked up is this YA book called The Afterlife of the Party by Marlene Perez and now this one is a random novel that I picked up because I saw on Instagram from the author herself and I was really intrigued by the cover and I really want to read this one because this one's about a girl who goes to a concert, gets bitten by the lead singer, gets turned into a vampire and now this one's kind of like a venturous like novel where she is trying to chase down the lead singer and trying to get answers while also falling in love with her guy best friend. So the next book that I picked up is actually a thriller novel called The Wrong Family by Taryn Fisher and I've read her book The Wives and I really kind of enjoyed that one. It was kind of really weird but I liked her enough to pick up her next novel and this one's called The Wrong Family. This one I think it's about a main heroine who lives with a couple who has the perfect life. Um, they have a perfect son, they have a perfect home, they look like they're really in love but what happens is that um, the wife actually gets a bad diagnosis for her health and then she overhears um, this conversation between the wife and the husband and then after our main heroine wants to help out this perfect family but um, obviously psychological things happen and it's a thriller novel so I'm expected to be spooked. So the next book that I picked up is actually a historical romance. This one's called The Heiress Gets a Duke by Harper St. George and I'm really excited to read her series mostly because her covers are simply gorgeous. Heard many really good things about this book so this one is basically about an heiress who does not want to get married so then the family decides to put up her sister for like auction to get married and things like that and then she wants to protect her sister because she doesn't want her sister to have a loveless marriage and then so she tries to break up this courting session that's happening between our main hero who wants to marry the sister but then after he realizes that he might like the heroine more. So I want to go quickly through these two books I picked up but basically Elizabeth Hoyt is a historical romance author that I really like a lot but she actually writes under a pen name called Julia Harper and she writes contemporary romances. So this series is actually, I don't even know what the series is called, but this first book is called um, Hot and then this one is called For the Love of Pete. Now I actually read For the Love of Pete and I actually really like the novel, but I wanted to get the new cover with the people on it and then afterwards I never read Hot before. But I think that these novels are actually very romantic suspense heavy. They're small town romances filled with a lot of action. So if you want books like that to cozy up to. So the next novel that I picked up is actually another historical romance. This one's called The Elusive Lord Everhart by Vivian Lorette. And now I've read a couple of Vivian's novels. They're good. So I decided to pick up some of her books again. This one is a second chance romance between our two characters. Our main hero does not want to marry, makes a bet that he will never marry, but then afterwards what actually happened is that he actually is hiding a very deep dark secret. The fact that he received a letter from his loved one and the letter was kind of like a marriage proposal, but then he kind of discarded it and just like forgot about it. And then our main heroine is devastated by it and then five years later she is coming back for revenge to break his heart. So the next book that I picked up is actually a random historical romance from an author that I haven't read before or heard before. This one is called Sins of a Wicked Princess by Anna Randall and now this one is about a spy who is trying to figure out who's killing all his best friends and then all signs lead to this exiled princess who is our main heroine. And I'm really excited to read this one because I never read a historical romance before with a princess in it and with royalty so I think I'm gonna really like it. So the next few novels that I have picked up right now is all Julia Quinn novels. Um, I did a Julia Quinn binge during the winter time that I still don't think I filmed yet and I don't think I told you guys about yet but I will be talking about them very soon. So the first book that I want to talk about is The Sum of All Kisses by Julia Quinn. It's part of the Smy Smith series. Freaking love this book. It was one of my favorites. It was Opposites Attract. It was Grumpy and Mrs. Sunshine and it was just like everything that I ever wanted. Um, our main heroine is me. She is kind of like very dramatic. She has a dramatic flair to it. She's kind of rude in a way um, but she's not trying to be rude and she's flawed. And then our hero is uh, scarred. He's wounded. He has a lot of 
like troubling passes that kind of haunt him and he doesn't think that he deserves love but this is the romance between these two characters my friend samantha from books with samantha hated this book but i really liked it so i don't know you pick if you want to read it so the next book that i picked up is actually what happens in london by julia quinn this one's part of the bevel stoke series and this one is a very quirky romance that i really liked this one is about a heroine who really likes to check up on things so one day he says she suspects that hit her next door neighbor is actually like a spy or like someone who's like really dangerous like a traitor to the country so she decides to keep stalking him and like looking out her window looking at him into his office hero is actually kind of like not a spy but he works for the government office and he's trained and he's smart and he realizes that this girl is being nosy and like looking into him so this is kind of like a quirky romance between these two characters and i really liked it the next book that i picked up is the secrets of sir richard kenworthy by julia quinn and this one's part of the Smy Smith series. This one is about a character who really desperately needs to marry someone who's rich and then he decides to kind of like compromise and makes like this like the scene with one of our main characters in the Smy Smith family and our character decides to marry him even though he doesn't she doesn't want to marry at all and then afterwards it's after marriage that she realized why he wanted to marry her so badly and I didn't really like this novel. So the next novel that I want to talk about is A Night Like This by Julia Quinn. This one's part of the Smy Smith series again. This one is about a governess who actually falls in love with one of the brothers and this one's kind of like a romance between different classes. Um, this one's not one of my favorite tropes but I still enjoy the story i mean our characters were fun and they had their own issues and they had their own problems so it was enjoyable but my friend loved it more than me so the next novel and i think one of the last novels from julia quinn that i have to haul is actually the secret diaries of Mer miss miranda cheever this one's the first book in the bevel stock series bevel stoke series and then this one is about a character who is in love with her best friend's older brother but our hero is actually very damaged because of the very bad relationship that he had and now he's bitter and he doesn't believe in love at all but our main heroine is there trying to convince him that love saves everything. So the next novel that I picked up is, Loretta, is a Loretta Chase novel called Lord Perfect and this one is kind of recommended to me from Jessica from Peace Love Books mostly because she had one of the books featured on her on her shelves or like on her Instagram page and then I said okay fine I'll buy the series because they were cheap. Um, this one is basically about a widow who actually has a daughter who wants to raise her right and then our hero kind of swoops in and kind of saves her. So I'm excited to read this series. Heard a lot of good things about Loretta Chase. So here we are. So the next book that I have to show you is actually kind of like a paranormal romance novel. This one is called Arousing Suspicions by Marianne Stillings and you guys might be wondering why am I reading a paranormal romance novel randomly? And it's because Marianne Stillings is actually one of my favorite contemporary romance authors that debuted back in the early 2000s and I've been collecting some of her novels. She's only written a handful of them and I read her books very sparingly because I know that once I finish reading them all I don't have anything new to read of hers. This one is about a girl who can actually see dreams and kind of see into the future and she works with a detective to help solve crimes and this is kind of their romance story. The next book that I picked up is actually one of the books and part of the series that I actually bought on eBay and I wanted to complete the whole series. I never showed it to you guys yet but this one is from Jerry Barlett and this one's Real Vampires Have Curves. I think this one's kind of like an urban fiction urban uh con paranormal romance like i don't really know how to describe it i don't think it has too much romance and i think it has more action but i read reviews of the series and everybody said it was really funny and i really like funny books so i'm excited to read this one so the next book that i picked up is another time travel romance novel this one is called tumbling through time with gwen grady and she basically has this series and this book is part of that series where it's time traveling and i have most of the books so i wanted to finish up the series so that i can binge read some time traveling romance novels novels. The next book that I have to show you is actually a romantic suspense novel called Forgotten Sins by Rebecca Zanetti and now this one seems really interesting to me. I don't really read romantic suspense mostly because it just has too many details and it's too much action focus that it doesn't really stick with me that much. Um, but this one is basically about this uh, it's a second chance romance between our two characters who got married and then afterwards he disappears without a trace and then like two years later um, she gets the news that he's alive and that he actually 
remembers nothing. So this is kind of their romance where she has to regain her trust and also re-fall in love with his wife. So the next book that I have to show you is another historical romance. This one's from Joanna Shoup. This one's called A Scandalous Deal and it's part of the 400 series. And this one is a series that I bought or I started buying because our main group read for our historical romance readathon that took place last month was from Joanna Shoup. So I thought that I'll purchase another book from the series. This one is quirky because our main heroine is actually an architect and she is hired by our main hero to oversee his um, business and his like uh, construction business where he owns a hotel and he wants to make it bigger and better and this is kind of the romance. I think it's really fun and interesting when our main heroines uh, do something and they actually have a career because these characters are more sharp and definitely more of a role model for romance readers out there. So the next romance that I have to show you is a historical romance from an author that I have not read that much of. This one's from Christy Carlisle. This one's called Rules for a Rogue and this one is about our it's a second chance romance between our two characters once again. Um, our main hero left our main heroine uh, when they declared love for each other and then now she has a job where she tutors young kids and she's basically a governess and then our hero has to come back and to really like restate his name and to um, take care of the state that he owns. So this is their romance. I'm excited to dive into Christie's books because I have a lot of her. So the next novel that I want to show you is actually another book from Mary Frame May and I never actually owned many of her books before but this one's called Lady in Waiting and this one is basically about a character who um finds herself engaged and betrothed to like this evil man and she wants no part of it so she decides to escape and she decides to pretend to be a maid for this estate and then afterwards this is where she falls in love with the estate owner who has no time to fall in love because of his past and because of all the work that he has to do so I'm excited to read this one because I love these undercover romances kind of thing. So the next novel is actually from the same author as before Mary Frey Maine and this one's called Waiting for a Rogue and basically this is about a girl who is does not want to marry at all and then what happens is that her next door neighbor is an American and they have like this kind of like banter thing going on and it's an opposite to track romance. I can't wait to read this one too as well and try new to me historical romance authors. So the next book that I picked up is another Christy Carlisle book. This one's called One Tenting Proposal. This one's between two opposite attract characters. Um, our main hero is really into mathematics. I think he's very socially awkward too as well and he meets our main heroine at a ball. He does not like our main heroine at all but they can't seem to get their hands off of each other and they have this very strong attraction. He really needs to marry and he can't think of anyone else but her now. So the next book that I have to haul is a book from Alyssa Cole and this is actually part of her new series called Runaway Royals. This one's called How to Catch a Queen and I think I'm gonna love this one because she wrote this like series called the Reluctant Royal series and I really like that one. So this one is about our two characters who are betrothed to each other. They get married but what happens is because she's an outsider that the kingdom doesn't listen to her and when there are actually like issues in the kingdom um and that she can actually solve because she has the solutions for it nobody will listen and then our hero who is the king needs to help her and to really like make people listen to her and so the next few books are actually thrifted novels but i thought i'll share it with you in this haul so this one is called kathy maxwell's the marriage contract it's between these two characters who are engaged and who have to get married because of this contract and they have to fulfill it i read books in this series before and i actually don't like the books but i wanted to collect this novel simply because the step backs for this novel and these novels in the series is really pretty like check this one out so pretty and then you think that like it's like it's so clean so flat that there is no step back but there is one so if you guys are hunting for good step backs check out Kathy Maxwell so the next book that I have to show you is actually another thrifted novel this one's from Gail Callan it's called A Woman's Innocence I think this is like book three in this series that I'm reading from Gail Callan involving spies and I really really want to get my read on for historical romances featuring spies so I can give you guys more recommendations. So this one's just about these two characters who are fighting for their attraction to each other and then our hero trying to not expose the country's secrets to the person that he loves. So the next novel that I have to show you is this one from Elizabeth Boyle, No Marriage of Convenience, and this one is a strict step back by and 
look at this you know step back right boom a back cover that is very pretty and very gorgeous and you can see myself filming myself but basically this one is about if two characters who need to marry for money and um this is their kind of romance i'm not going to talk about the synopsis of this novel mostly because i'm still kind of really angry that i got this copy from thrift books but this is a loretta chase novel called captains of the night i really like the cover but i really hate how this one is snapped off i'm trying not to be upset right now but i am pretty upset so the next historical romance i picked up is actually this one from lisa byrne and this one's called the worst duke in the world and this one is about a single father duke who's trying to look for someone who is normal to marry so that they can have a normal functioning relationship and a family so that the wife can take care of the child and then um what he doesn't expect is that this quirky heroine to come in and befriend his son very easily and very quickly so the next book that i have to show you is actually a book from eloisa james called desperate duchesses and the reason why i bought this book was because i thought there was a step back but there is no step back so now i'm kind of mad because the synopsis kind of sounds okay it's about these two people that meet on a dance floor and they have instant attraction for each other and now they want to get to know each other so the next book that i have to show you is actually a book that's part of the Gilded Age Girls Club series and this is from Maya Rodell. I read the series. I think I completed it or I think I have one more left. I forget. This one's called An Heiress to Remember. This one's about a girl who gets married to a duke, decides to divorce him, and then comes back to New York to run a very successful fashion dress shop um, as a divorcee. And then afterwards, this is where she meets her childhood best friend slash lover um and then this is their second chance romance our hero is crushed that our main heroine chose someone over him so i think this one's going to be have her apologize a lot the next book that i have to show you is another book called by lisa bernie this one's called the lard the layered takes a bride and this one is but between two characters who are married for marriage of convenience and then afterwards they are opposites attract and he is like shocked that his wife is very prickly and very like builds a lot of walls but then what really happened is that our main heroine has been heartbroken before and she doesn't trust anybody so this is kind of like their romance where he has to kind of convince her that he's not like other guys so the next novel that i have to show you is a novel from siri james this one's called runaway heiress our heiress does not want to marry anybody at all she decides to run away she crashes into a stranger who turns out to be our hero who actually is disguised himself as um a normal person when he's actually the earl and then afterwards this is kind of their love story i never read any books by this author before but i'm excited to check her out the next book that i purchased is actually a cat sebastian historical romance novel this one's a male male historical romance and this one's called the soldier scoundrel and basically our main hero is there to protect the people and to keep sure that like his siblings are safe and he uses like tricks and schemes of the underworld to help those who need the kind assistance only him can serve i guess he protects people and then afterwards our hero our other hero is a, a soldier and then he comes back and he wants like kind of like a normal life but what he doesn't expect is to fall in love with this guy who's basically like a superhero the next book that i picked up is another cat sebastian novel this one's called a duke in disguise and basically our duke is in disguise and um he wants to help out his childhood best friend who is a writer and who wants to write erotic novels and then this is kind of like the romance between a publisher and the writer and i'm excited to dive into this one so the next novel that i have to show you is a delicate deception by cat sebastian once again this one is about an unlikely romance between these two characters um where they meet on a walk and basically our female heroine goes on walks every single day and then after um this meddling guy comes in and kind of tells her all these facts about the estate but he has his own reasons why he's on the estate and he's out for revenge and i'm excited to read this one too because cat is an author that i haven't read a lot but i've heard many great things so the last book that i want to show you for this book haul is this one called i adored a lord by Catherine ash this one is about a girl who is very tired of the fact that everybody's trying to win the prince's hand in marriage and then afterwards she's snowbound in this like castle with all these girls who are fighting for the prince's attention but then meanwhile um our lord who is our um main hero is actually like the half brother of the prince and then he discovers this girl and then afterwards this is their love like romance between these two people where she's supposed to like the prince but she ends up liking the lord in the end but anyways that is it for all the books that i have to show you for this haul it's a very very massive haul and i think i'm gonna cut it off at this point i think i showed over probably 80 books maybe like 60 books not too sure and then afterwards um i still have some 
thrifted books that I have to show you in the next run but I think we're good with hauls right now I think I think we're good as much as I love filming them and showing you guys books I think we gotta take a step back and maybe talk about the books I actually read during my hiatus but hopefully you guys still enjoy this video and I'll see you guys again next time bye <laughs>